<laughs> That's like. My name is Chase Owen Cooper. And what do you do, Chase? I go to school, Columbia College, Chicago. I major in cinema arts and sciences, but I also love to paint. I wanted to become either uh, an illustrator for a cartoon TV show or like a comic book artist. And I had a SpongeBob mouse pad. And he was like SpongeBob like uh, on a ukulele with like a hula skirt and stuff like that. And then I started cop uh, copying uh, what I saw and I drew, drew SpongeBob and that was my first like real like um, way of teaching myself. We had an assignment during my third grade class. We were learning about currency. People were uh, planning on like selling like food or like snacks or something like that or like something that like their mom made but like my mom was always working and I didn't want to ask her to do something last minute so I just decided to draw a bunch of different versions of Spongebob like compositions and stuff and that's what I sold but I barely sold anything. So that was the first time you sold food? Yeah, was, well, technically that's my first time I sold my art for you know paper monopoly money. <laughs> when I started out illustrating I didn't color as much but I think it's mainly because you know, when I was in school, I just didn't really have a distinction between the colors that well. And I guess I never really registered <laughs> that I didn't understand the colors. I guess growing up, I my dad was really into cart like cartoons and comics and stuff. So I think like Saturday mornings when they had the Batman animated series or the Spider-Man animated series or X-Men animated series, I would watch those with my uh, with my dad Saturday mornings before he went to work. I think I got into painting after I found out I was like colorblind. When it comes to colors. What I saw, I guess I thought is what everybody else saw. There wasn't necessarily a problem that I noticed because I just figured it was normal. I tried not to mix the colors because if I mixed them, I would just get confused easily. So I stuck with like the labels, like the color uh, needs to be like the color that I bought. I would separate them uh, with like black lines to make it easier for myself. First painting that I sold was like an abstract portrait of Mr. Freeze. After selling that one, and then posting it on Instagram, I, uh, in the caption I said, I said in all caps that it was sold, and then as I continued painting, other people were asking to buy those paintings because they saw that I sold the other one, so they knew I was on the market, and they wanted to like get in on it. I was like, I can make this a thing, you know? Uh, in high school, I was in a bunch of extracurricular activities, and so I couldn't I couldn't work as much because I had rehearsals after school, and then after those, it would be like uh, 10 o'clock at night, then I had to go straight home. Uh, since I couldn't work, I couldn't make money, I couldn't feed myself between rehearsals, or I couldn't pay the bills that I needed, like car insurance and uh, like my phone bill, and then the extra stuff I needed to pay to help my mom out, and so, and I knew. Uh, that my pa paintings were being sold and I knew people liked them so I was thinking that within my free periods uh, crank out like two to three paintings a day and then uh, selling them after. Um, when it comes to painting I guess I feel calm doing it because it's at my own pace. I like how people enjoy like seeing it happen. Me mimicking what I did, uh, what I watched Growing up, it was uh, it was pretty cool how I can create what I admired so much, you know, growing up, and then being able to see other people admire what I do is even like cooler about it. So yeah. I'm Chase Owen Cooper, a colorblind, and I'm a painter.